What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Vincent. Today we're going to SFU you to the mountain to check out the new dorm. Come with me. We're going to see and my friend there, David, is going to have some tour and then we're going to ask them a few questions and then maybe a little sneak peek about the new student union building. If you're excited and interested in that, make sure to hit the thumbs up and without further ado, let's go! Hi everyone, we're in the West Tower now and we're on the second floor and honestly there's not too much to the second floor in this tower because it's a little different from the east. And yeah, th this is it really. And if you come over here, you, there's some other stuff you can see. There's like a learning area, like a study area. You got washrooms and a multi-faith center. This is like the study area. I don't think it's done yet. Like, yeah, we can't, we can't actually, we can't go in, space is closed. But yeah, I don't know, it's sad. I think it, it looks pretty nice from the outside though. It's got a big TV, blah, 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 everything you need. Yeah. If you come here, this, uh, uh, this is a multi-faith center, but it's not, yeah, it's not finished yet. It's still under construction. And then this is, this is a, like a little entrance to the basketball court. And then, yeah, you can see the basketball court out there, and that is the East Tower. If you come over here, you got the, uh, the card machine for, for, the, for your laundry, except it doesn't work right now. It's just a shame, but yeah. And then you got your vending machines, blah, blah, blah. And over here, are all your restrooms and stuff like that. So this is the bottom floor. bottom floor common room and what's special about this common room is you have fridge and you have a stove to cook on none of the other common floors have a stove to cook on and I think it's bigger yeah it's bigger and it's designed a bit different but other than that yeah that's it really it's just everyone comes down here to cook at the stove and yeah as of right now, I don't think anyone lives here. This is just... Oh wait, no, no one can live here. There's no, there's no actual rooms. It's just a... It's just a cooking in a common area. And yes, TV. So now we're in the sixth floor common room. And this is where I live. So when you first get out of the elevators, you're gonna see... Yeah, you're gonna see all this. And I think most of these spaces are just for studying or yeah or eating food and yeah if we come over here we have okay we're meant to have two microwaves but there's only one right now so i think someone stole it <laughs> yeah, that's that's how it is and then you just got to sinks and stuff like that but there's hot water here so i love this because you can always make like i don't know indomie ramen whatever it's my favorite but yeah and if you come over here these are the entrances or like the uh, the alleys to like yeah the rooms and all that and each floor has one actually no so the sixth common room and the fourth floor common room all have tvs and stuff like that but for the seventh floor if you look the 7th floor common room and the 6th floor common room is kind of shared. 
so yeah not all floors have this yeah the uh the seventh floor is not that much different it's just you got your rooms blah 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 and you have a tiny little study room over here It's not much. It's, I think, 7th and 6th floor meant to share the common areas. Uh, I think the main, like, a really good part about these towers is the view. So, yeah. You can see your friends play football, blah, 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 do sports. I think the common rooms, like, in the new towers compared to the old ones are just way better like people actually come to the common rooms and you know you can make friends stuff like that like i work pretty late like maybe till like 1 a.m and stuff like that so when i come back and like everyone's just chilling in a common room it's kind of nice to just and you can just like relax after a long day at work stuff like that so this is the top floor this is the eighth floor of the west Honestly, there's not much difference to this tower, uh, to this floor, except for the balcony that they have, which unfortunately is locked right now. But if it wasn't, yeah, it would be pretty nice to just eat and chat, maybe come up here and just relax. It's a nice view. So this is my room, and. Yeah, it's not, it's not much. It's kind of small, but I guess it gets the job done. The, the, uh, the orientation in this room wasn't always like this. Like, everything in this room is like movable. So it's different from the North Towers in that sense. And so the bed was originally like from here, but I wanted it against the window. So I, yeah, I just pushed it to the window so you could wake up next to the sun. On each floor, there's a little laundry room. You have, you've got a washing machine and you've got the, uh, the dryer. There's only, I think they're gonna put in more than just one of each. Maybe they'll put like two of each on each floor. Cause like, if someone's using it, you can't, you can't do much. You just gotta go to another floor. And then sometimes people like forget to fold their laundry. Or like forget to take it out of the dryer and stuff like that. And then, yeah, you kind of you can't do anything, so it kind of sucks. These are the bathrooms. If you walk all the way from the alley and then you come out, and you get four bathrooms. So there's four over here, and four further down the hallway over there. And yeah, there's not much to it. You just outside the bathrooms, you get a sink, mirror, blah blah blah. And if we open one of the bathrooms, yeah, you'll see it's not much, but in comparison to the North Towers, I think it's a lot better. It's kind of like your own little private cubicle rather than sharing the showers with like everyone. Since this is a disabled restroom, there's no actual locks and physical buttons, so you just wave it, and this is to lock it. And once you're done, you just wave your hand over here to open, and the door automatically opens. It's just the same, it's just a washroom, but it's for the disabled one, the disabled bathroom. It is massive. <laughs> it is huge. Hello everyone, like my name is Zarif, I'm from Bangladesh. I'm doing a joint major in like business and economics in SFU 
and it's my second year and so far I'm loving it here. I'm Thai and I study computer science and I'm in my second year. I'm Sipran, I'm 18. I'm also studying computer science but thinking of moving to interactive arts and technology and I'm in my first year. Well, I've been here since March. No, no, actually May, sorry, I was here in May. Um, I used to stay in PJ, then I moved here in May to the West Towers. A whole new upgrade. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough, yeah. I, I came in in February, I think, so it's been, I think, about half a year, something like that. And I was staying in B Ray for one semester, and then I changed to PJ for like two weeks, and then I'm in West now. For me, I came here at like March. I lived in like Shadbow for two months and then moved to East Towers. And after staying in East Towers for like four months, I moved to West. And yeah, it's so far it's been really good. Like the new buildings, it's really nice. It's extremely modern and like they got really good facilities over here. I think like compared to the North Towers, the common area is like, it's completely different. It's way better. Like back in North Towers, you couldn't really like, I don't know, you wouldn't really like just relax and chill in the common room, but in the like east and west towers, you can definitely just like relax, chill here. Yeah. And it's just a way better environment to like connect and make friends, really. Yeah. In the west towers, like the washrooms, there's such a big object. <laughs> Why do you have to clean up the washrooms? You have to, you have to. Like in the west towers, the showers, it's way cleaner than the North Towers. It's not like North Towers used to be really bad, but like this one's, it's definitely a really good upgrade. Mm. And like in the West Towers, every, pretty much every two days, like after we're done studying, we chill in the common room, we play FIFA with my friends, we hang out, we also mm -hmm. end up playing some games. Yeah. So yeah, I think for the West Towers, it's way better than the North Towers for socializing. And if, you're, if you are like a first year student, I think, you should go for the West Towers. For yeah. sure, I think it's yeah. not the east, but the west. You know, from the west, the view you have, the training ground, and the girls train. You know, you see the, the techniques, talents, and skills. But in the east, you're facing McTaggart, and that's one of the saddest buildings on Res. But here, you're facing you're to, nice view. You're to start a Vancouver, war. the trees. It's a beautiful tower. <laughs> West is best. Dude, west is best. From the west, east is least. You can literally see like Metro Down and like the whole Vancouver skyline. Also, yeah. you can see downtown. Mm -hmm. You can pretty much see the whole Metro Vancouver. From from, from the this west tower. towers. Yeah, yeah the eighth floor. Eighth, 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 eighth floor. Eighth, eighth floor. floor. Easily, you can see everything. Yeah, and and I think it's like a re really unique experience. Like, for example, after you're done studying or you want to take a break, you can just head, head to the eighth floor and take a look. I think it will like help you de-stress. De you yeah. can study on the 8th floor. Yeah, just yeah. study on the 8th floor. Or I think it's a really good there. experience. Yeah. It's just better in every way, yeah. really. <laughs> every way it's better. <laughs> Sights, seeing, community, friends, mm. the West. Agreed. Yo, around 50, 55. 40 oh, rooms. Okay, wait, we have seven washrooms, eight washrooms, and just, there's where is that? Six zeros or one to six zeros. So there are 73 rooms. Out of the 73, 50, yeah, 15 are used for washrooms. Then they have like two storage rooms on each side. So like, yeah. It's yeah. too much math. Roughly. Uh, there are roughly like about 50 rooms on each floor. Um, each with its own distinct color. That's what I like about the tar. Oh, through the doors, right? Each door has like a... Okay, it's not all different colors, but each door is like color-coded. It's kind of... Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, and uh, each... Like, on the floor is all mixed. It's not like gender-exclusive. I think they're all inclusive. It's about 500 more than the North yeah. Tower, yeah. which... I don't know. I, it's like totally worth it. Yeah, Five thousand seven hundred dollars a semester. And the North Tower is about five, three, five, four a semester. Mm -hmm. So when you think about it, you upgraded four hundred dollars a semester. Including, yeah, including, including meal, plan. meal plan. You have to. You have to buy the meal yeah, plan. Yeah, once you're in the North Towers or East or West, you have to get a meal plan. Even it's, though there's a kitchen downstairs, you still have to. But the Mictaga townhouses, you could just pay no meal plan. Yeah. Every
everyone has to uh, be signed to the meal plan anyway. But right now it's inter semester, so right now we just go and get like a whole big bag of food and it'll last us like the day. But normally like during summer, we just go to the DH and it's kind of like a buffet style. We get what we want and then we come back and eat. Yeah, eat as much as you want, get anything you want. Yeah. But like before the COVID, the dining hall used to be like open for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. But we could go there whenever we want, according to our needs, and it, I think it was really good, a really good feature, and I really want that feature back, like after this pandemic ends, and if that thing's always there, it will basically mean you'd never be hungry, even during the day or the night or even in the morning, like the early morning, we'll always have food to ourselves. That's true. Yeah. Food's not the best though, like, yeah. uh, it's like pizzas, burgers, every day, it, it, it yeah. gets kind of old. Eggs, omelet, you should try the omelet though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> try the omelet, omelet's good. The breakfast, DH breakfast is the best, like, yeah. I can eat that all day. 10 a.m. Yeah, the breakfast is good, I'll give them that. Everything else, I, I, yeah, it's okay. No, dude, on Sunday, Oh yeah, Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday. On Sunday, Sunday there's like beef, like, <laughs> Carvery, how do you say? Like Carvery? Yeah, Sunday Carvery. Yeah. 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 Then there's like omelette station on Sunday. Mm. And the omelette station lasts till 4pm. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, you don't have to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Sunday. on Sunday you eat like a king. <laughs> yeah, and then you get your ice cream sandwich. Oh, the ice yeah. cream sandwiches. Sunday you get ice cream sandwiches. Or your Sundays. West also has a freezer, North Tower. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, West has oh, a freezer, fridges, yeah. North Towers don't have freezer. So you could like get like five ice cream sandwiches from DH and store them in your freezer. But if you're in the North, you have to eat your ice cream there and then. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get a frost, but we have five other boxes. <laughs> yeah. Each room, the fridge has a freezer. Oh. You can cook in the first floor and if you want to get groceries, you just go to Nestor's. It's not too far. It's like a 10 minutes walk mm-hmm. from Res. Nestor's. It's a bit pricey though, but yeah. that's why you pay for convenience. Yeah. But like, if you guys want variety, Safeway is just down the mountain. You just take an R5 bus. It'll take you like around roughly seven minutes. Stops, yeah, yeah. Seven just minutes two stops. stops. Note that because if you stay more than two stops, yeah. you get it downtown. You can go to Walmart. That's like 15 minutes from here, a bit far, but yeah. there's like more variety and it's cheaper and it get, gives you really good deals, so yeah. There's a wide range of options for groceries around campus. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's pretty decent living on res. Everything's around here. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's actually yeah. very, very yeah. convenient. Well, you could play FIFA, yeah, each duty on the common room, anything you want. Each floor has like a massive TV, so all you need is a console and you can just yeah, play with right. everyone on the floor. That's what we do, like every night. It's like what, Minecraft, COD, FIFA, FIFA stuff yeah. like that. Or you could just see, um, that's another good thing about the view. Check if people are playing for soccer outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you join them. Yeah, you don't even need to ask. You, like if you see people down there, just go down and say, hey, let's play. And they will definitely just, just join a side. Yeah, yeah. Play. And then, super fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And in between the west and the east, there's a basketball court. Ooh, so yeah, 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 so yeah. instead of going all the way to the gym or something, you just have a basketball court or your convenience down in front of your building. So exactly. you just go and play there. Also, yeah. like if you guys want some kind of excursion like outside of like the normal rest life, Burnley Mountain Park is just like roughly 10 minutes walk. Yeah. It walks you straight like through a forest and it's like got really decent views from the park. Yeah. And I think I've been here for like six months roughly and I think it's one of the best places I've seen in like the whole Metro Vancouver. Yeah, and it nice. never gets boring, like especially the sunset from the Burning Mountain Park. Mm-hmm. It's mesmerizing. Yeah, you live on a mountain, might as well like, make use of it, right? Yeah. Oh, oh. Meet, I think meet, yeah, meeting to friends. To be very honest, yes. if you want to meet friends, come to West 6. They are very friendly. I'm not, I'm not even lying because I'm living here. They are very friendly over here in West 6. Like, yeah. most people that have friends, so there are some people that just have friends in West 6 and not even their own rooms. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. That's kind of you, right? Yeah. This guy used to live in the East, but every night he come to West yeah. just because. Yeah. Like, I, f- I found the less people more friendly, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But basically everyone is nice and you could just actually just chill in the common room and people will come and start talking to you. Definitely, yeah. But apart from that, like the whole rest community in general, it's like extremely diverse. It's like people from so many different nationalities. 
just go and talk to them. No one will say no. Everyone will want to socialize with you at Most night people. thing. Yeah. That's the best thing of Res. Like you can make friends really easily and like for me the experience was the friends are really loyal and yeah, yeah they're really good at and if you need any help, they'll always be there for you. So yeah, that's the thing I like about Res honestly. I think everyone's always a little bit anxious about making friends mm -hmm. when yeah. they come but yeah, you don't need to worry. Come, making friends is really easy. Yeah. Thank you guys. Um, thanks for watching the video. I, I hope that we, we too were able to give you guys some sort of knowledge about the experience in West Towers and living in rest in general. And if you guys want any future advice of which towers you would like to choose before moving to rest, we are always free. We can help you suggest. So yeah, that's all I have to say. What about you guys? Um, I don't know. This, this... If you're deciding between yeah. any other place or like West, if you, I say just take West. Honestly, it's a it's a good experience. And yeah. Oh, oh, if you're coming to West and you think you can play FIFA, there's this guy in the townhouse called Rahul. Trust me, you can't. When you play against him, you just get demoralized. <laughs> yeah. Well, enjoy your time and enjoy your day. Come yeah. to West, but not to play FIFA. To just live the life. <laughs> East West Towers are just better. It's yeah. nice. I mean, COVID's getting better soon, and the campus is opening. Classes are just like 10 minutes walk from here. You don't need to take any transit. It's extremely BD. convenient. BD. Yeah. There you go, that's the SFU dorm, the new one, East and West Tower, and also Q&A for a few of my friends over there. Hopefully you guys found it interesting and you guys found it informative. If you do and you still watch it until now, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, enjoy the sneak peek, and I'll see you guys again next time.